Many organizations have got similar cultures to what we had on the mountain, on Choyu. They were ineffective and non-productive cultures. And they found that only 37% of people understand their company vision. People don't really even know why the organization exists. And it's critical that you all know why you are in the building working together, why you are doing what you're doing. They found that only 13% have high, high trust and collaborative relationships with other groups and departments. So people are not talking back and forth. They're not working with each other. It, they're more siloed and they're just working on what they need to do and hoping that somehow it meshes with the rest of the organization to get the job done. They found that only 17% felt the organization fostered open communication. So they didn't feel that the organization was communicating well with them. Leadership was not sharing their thoughts with them, and so they didn't know really what was going on. And if leadership isn't sharing thoughts with me and being open in communication with me, I'm not going to be open with the people around me, with my colleagues. So it's, it's really important that we focus on how we communicate with each other. Only 20% understand how their role contributes to the overall goal. So my role, my job that I do every single day, how does that lead to us being successful as a company? Many people don't understand that. And finally, only 50% were satisfied with work accomplished at the end of a week. So when somebody goes home at the end of the week and their, their spouse or roommate or whoever it happens to be asks, how was your week? They say, eh, whatever, you know, I got paid. And that's really about it. They're just kind of there to do their thing, and that's it. This, obviously, is not a high-performance environment. This is not what you want to have in an organization. It's not what you want to have on a mountain. So you need to think about how can you build the opposite of this.